Financials for the first quarter of the 2010-11 school year were one of the many items on the agenda of Monday's Chinook School Board meeting. The report presented by Secretary Treasurer Rod Quinton covered the time frame of September 1st through November 30th of 2010. The details identified receipt of tax revenues above budget due to the property tax collection cycle, and expenditures in all areas are either on track or slightly below budget. Big cost to staff, and so if we can keep a good handle on our staff costs, uh, that's a great thing. One thing about having a lot of people in organization is that it cycles. There will be periods where you'll have more illness leaves and that type of thing. And so far this year we've been really, really fortunate in that uh, we've been able to uh, manage without a whole lot of that. He further adds that based on results to date, the remainder of the 2011 school year also looks positive on a financial front. The final audited statements for the 2009-10 fiscal year will be presented to the board on January 24th. Another note of discussion surrounded an updated technology report for the Chinook School Division. With approximately 2,500 computers in schools across the division, students and staff are given the opportunity to have access to a range of classes and other studies through the convenience of technology. However, the division is facing one hurdle to overcome. This involves having enough bandwidth to sustain the demand for internet capability across the division, a problem which has arisen due to a number of factors. Uh, school divisions are given our, our bandwidth for internet through community net, which is sort of the, uh, the bandwidth pipe that comes from Regina and from the Ministry of Learning. And of course we try to use that bandwidth to meet the learning needs of kids. And of course one of the challenges always occurs at this time of year, when kids get the iPod touches and they get the, the DS3s and, and they get the, uh, you know, the phones with internet applications, that some of those things when uh, students sometimes bring them in unknowingly into a school and those things take some of the bandwidth from some of the learning applications that we have as a system. McIntyre goes on to stress that the solution to the problem will come from policing the issue as a whole across the division. From student to staff usage of the internet, from accessing YouTube and downloading videos, spending time on Facebook during school hours. And I think part of it is the board sits direction through its policy and speaks to employees through policy. So I think that's a role that the board is going to have to take on, saying what is acceptable and what is not acceptable. And, and part of that's a generational thing, of course, that you know some of us are, are well-versed with that stuff and some of us aren't. So I think our board really has to kind of set those rules out so that people know exactly what's acceptable at work and what isn't acceptable at work, what's acceptable in the classroom and what's not acceptable in the classroom. Approximately 40 schools across the southwest fall under the Chinook School Division, making it the second largest in the province.